Hi, I'm Brian Lasseur, president of Xenix Software. In the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build an automated test with Essential Test. Let's start by creating what we call a step. Notice how actions are automatically generated as I drag from the snapshot displayed on the right. With just a few drags, I've generated three actions that make up a step for logging into my target application. I'm not going to put any test data directly into the step because I want to be able to reuse it. Instead, I'll add parameters. Next, I'll build a test using the step that I just created, along with another one that was done previously. What makes this step-based approach so powerful is that I can use the steps over and over again to create as many tests as I want. I could put the test data directly into the username and password fields, but I want to reuse my test with many sets of data. Instead, I'll have a central test generate a data table automatically and bind it to the fields in my steps. A central test will even create the columns in the correct data type so that I don't have to worry about data transformations. All I need to do now is fill in the data table. Now that we have a data-driven test, let's associate it with a test plan. I'll drag the test over to the test plan and then input the test IDs to associate each one of the requirements in the test plan with a row in the data table. That's all there is to it. What may not be so obvious is that the tests built using this step-based approach are also easy to maintain. If a step needs to be updated because of a change in the target application, all the tests that use that step are automatically updated. That's just one of the ways that we're reducing the cost of software testing by making testers more productive.